I wanted to give everyone uh, just a sense of, um, you know, a lot of what we talk about is related to work-related injuries. And uh, I wanted to focus on really, really understanding the, the timeline of the workers' compensation case, because a lot of the times, um, and I got an email, it was actually pretty, pretty funny, because I got an email that somebody had just just seen our doctor about a week ago and they wanted to know if um the insurance company had already offered money to settle the case i thought it was cute uh, <laughs> from the standpoint of you know you don't know what you don't know which was actually perfect in the sense that that's why when i do this on saturday mornings i think it's just such a good thing because that's a great question from somebody who just had no idea right well and you know so i think what we would do is is sort of do like a like a circle loop all right so workers compensation a workers comp case is basically it's basically like a circle okay so at the top of the circle you have your date of accident right and then from date of accident it goes down that circle morning sarah it goes down that circle until somebody finishes treatment right so it it can go as long as needed all right but until a person is finished receiving the medical treatment that's being recommended by the authorized doctors okay that case is just is just in i don't want to say a holding pattern because somebody is getting better but in terms of the case moving forward to a resolution Yes, it is just sort of, you know, hanging around. It's like sort of, you know, circling the runway, basically, okay? So the idea is that that amount of treatment, however long that's going to take, is going to go for however long that's going to take. All right. So the next thing is that when, that, when the treatment is done, so now we move down the circle, okay? When the treatment is done, all right, the doctor is going to indicate, okay, at this point, you've reached your maximum medical improvement and there's nothing more we can do, blah, 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 right? But at that point, depending on who the insurance company is and also the significant nature of the case, is going to play a role in how long that case is going to take to get to a point where you're going to start to conference a case okay so first things first right once you're done treating and i get the call email hey sam doctors release me at that point we now move forward to grab all of the medical records okay so we're going to get all of the medical records together and then once we know we have all of the medical records, all the authorized records, because sometimes what happens is we'll get like the orthopedic records, but we won't get the MRI or we won't the report or we won't get the operative report. And so rather than send my client to our doctor only to have our doctor send a letter back that says, hey, do we don't have this only to go back to the insurance company. So, you know, as a result of talking to our clients as the process moves forward, we understand that they, you know, have gotten treatment, haven't gotten treatment, whatever the case might be. So at that point, then it's going to take a period of time to make sure we get all those records. All right. But once we have all of those records, then the next thing is let's get you examined by our doctor. So we're going to send you to an expert. Now, if it's a physical injury, that's one type of doctor. If it's a neurologic injury, it's a different kind of a doctor. If it's a psychiatric injury, it's a different kind of doctor. But we're going to set you up to go see our doctors. Once you see our doctor, then we're going to get that report. Once we get that report, and by the way, from the visit to the report, that's about 30 days. But once we have the report, now we're in business. Now we can go to court and we can resolve the case. Now, everything, again, is still virtual for the most part um enough to drive me out of my mind crazy still but it's the way it is so so be it um but nonetheless we'll conference the case so we'll take the report we'll exchange reports with the other side so now we get the opportunity to see what their doctor has to say and then the next part of the process is that we're going to start to negotiate that case now depending on the judge depends on whether or not 
you need to conference it with the judge or whether you can resolve it without the judge depends on who you're with and where you are, which is a big part of the whole workers' compensation system. You got to know your judge. You got to know your adversary. You got to know what it is that they're talking about. So um, anyway, once we're at that point, now the case is going to resolve. So we'll go into court again virtually and we'll settle the case. There'll be a court order. And then the top of the circle is the everybody gets their award from from the injury. So there's there's your circle, right? So treatment done, medical records collection done, doctor evaluation done, court negotiations done. Now everybody gets their award. So two things that you got to know. One, for the most part, for the most part, depending on who the employer and the insurance company are, but for the most part, from the time that you finish your treatment and we get the uh, sort of, you're at that point. Now we start to collect those records, okay? From that point, the average case is going to take nine to 12 months. Now, if you broke your pinky finger, no, it's not gonna take nine to 12 months, okay? But if you had a three level cervical fusion, yeah, that may take a little longer than the 12 months, okay? Now, right now, the only employer slash insurance company that there is going to guarantee take longer is right now that we deal with on a regular basis is the city of Trenton and their insurance, but it's the city of Trenton. And that's because at this point, uh, in order for any city of Trenton case to resolve, it needs to be put onto the city agenda. And since right now there are no cases that are actually being put on the city agenda, then everything is at a standstill, which we remind all of the judges in Trenton. And then what happens is we're now having trials on every single city of Trenton case. So, for example, I literally just tried two cases, one for a knee, one for a shoulder. And the answer is these are cases that should have absolutely resolved without incident. But of course, you know. Um, now we have to have trials on cases that would, with anybody else, the state, the you know, the state, uh, the Liberty Mutual, NJM, any other insurance would have resolved. But the city of Trenton, this is how they have chosen to deal with their employees and their people. So that's how we now have to treat them. Um, we have been told that um, cases are, you know, going to slow down because it's the end of the year and financially for their fiscal year. And then we know November is elections, so nothing's going to happen. And, you know, it's, it's to me, it's just disgusting how um, they want to treat their uh, injured workers.